grand rising good day and good night i hope you all are doing well welcome to my channel welcome to 144 from the stars tarot let's go ahead and give odin something tasty he is eyeballing it he sees it he's like hurry up and give it to me dad why you gotta make me wait for this long intro i come over here i sit in my battle station feed me my treat okay let's go ahead and get started let's pull some tarot let's see what spirit would like you all to know also if any of you are new to my channel, hi and welcome. Um, it has come to my attention. I have mentioned my name before, but it has been some time. So if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Ian and I'm glad you're here. Let's go ahead and continue this message. We've got the Queen of Pentacles coming out and then we've got the King of Swords. What about this Queen of Pentacles and King of Swords? We've got the Two of Cups. The High Priestess. And this Wheel of Fortune. And then Judgment Reverse. So we've got the Wheel of Fortune Reverse, the Judgment Reverse, the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, there may be... Um, a relationship that doesn't really work and you may be intuitively knowing that and i just recently picked up on i think it was a reading that you guys got at 10 a.m i had mentioned something about someone may be realizing that um you may have to part ways with an energy so we've got this queen of pentacles and this king of swords these could either be um masculine or feminine in either way they could be an air sign and an earth sign it doesn't really have to be, and that's not really so much when I'm picking up on this. I'm just kind of getting that someone is more so of a stubborn, practical, um, I guess they would call it like realistic or something. And then I'm getting someone else is more of like a free thinker. And I'm getting that there may be like a little bit of like a clash of those energies, like someone might be... Um, I, I feel like someone feels like bound in a way, like they want to soar high into the higher realms with their mind. And then someone else keeps trying to like bring them to earth or bring them to reality. But it's actually in an unhealthy way. Like it's unhealthy for both parties where it's not really working. Like, I mean, I'm not saying one person's right or one person is wrong. They're their own ways, but I'm just getting that they might be different ways. And that's okay. There may be like a realizing that something might not be for you. Or there just may be uh, an individual that you're not getting along with in the best of ways. Now this doesn't have to be relationship like love. Because um, honestly I'm not really picking up on that too much anyways. Um, I'm sure that energy is out here. We do have the two of cups. But I'm feeling more so that this... Um, this could just be like differences between you and another individual and you may be like intuitively knowing that this isn't going to lead to a good thing or this isn't going to end well. And yeah, I mean, Ten of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune reverse and Judgment, you're right. Your intuition is telling you right. Something's not going to end well here. It may be. All right. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to leave these energies out here and then I'm going to ask um, what Spirit's advice for you is if you're dealing with this. We have the moon. <sighs> okay. <laughs> That's not exactly the the advice that I was hoping for, but it's it's the truth. Alright, what else? Give me a little more. The moon and the sun. Wow. Yeah, there's there's something that needs to be brought to light. There's something that needs to be understood. There may even be like <sighs> someone might feel some there may be unspoken emotions or feelings. There may be some like built up resentment or something as well. They're just, I don't know. I don't know what this is. I don't know if there's, these are like two people that don't always get along, but they try their best to get along. But then like some kind of like 
conflict has been building up beneath the surface and you've been intuitively picking up on this that something might blow up or something might end poorly or someone might get their feelings hurt or this might have to come to an end or something nothing good is going to come of this and there may be something that needs to be uh, brought to the surface or brought to the light oh my gosh we've got this death coming out reverse and that that might be something someone has to come to terms with, that this person isn't going to change. And you just have to move on. I do feel that. I feel like someone has to come to terms with the reality and they just have to accept it and they have to let go. So I don't know if this is someone you care about, if this is someone you love, if this is someone you just simply got to part ways with. But it's like there's a maturity here. Yeah, Seven of Wands. And then this Princess of Swords. And then this King of Pentacles. So yeah, I don't... It, for, for someone, it's almost like... Um, you could be like very practical or stable or solid. Or you're very like down to earth or realistic or practical. Um, hard work. And like, I don't know if like this other individual that you're working with is just like full of themselves or full of hot air or they're all over the place or they they just don't settle down or and there's like it's just like you guys aren't your energy doesn't work well together like I, I really am not seeing it as a matter of someone is right and someone is wrong i'm just seeing it as a matter of oil and water don't mix yeah five of swords there's conflict there is conflict. And I'm also picking up on like an internal conflict. And this may be going on between you and this other individual. You, The other individual may be having some kind of internal conflict as well as to like, what should they do? Should they keep resisting? Should they keep fighting? Should they keep trying to speak their mind or their truth? Or like, I, I feel like two people just aren't in agreement with something. And it's just, it's not worth it. <laughs> Like, you guys aren't going to see eye to eye. You guys aren't going to make ends meet. You guys aren't going to work well together. You just are on two different ends. One is this way. One is that way. And it just doesn't work well. And there may have been, like, an effort to try to, like, no, if I... If I try to compromise myself a little bit, I'll compromise myself. I'll sacrifice myself in a way. I'll try to be more like this. And then I'll try to work with you. And I'll try to teach, like, show you. or And it's just like you're realizing, like, that's not even going to work. And then it's just like, all right, well, at, at this point, I just got to maintain my sense of self. I've got to maintain myself. Like, there's just a, a preservation of self going on here. And you're realizing that giving energy into this isn't going to pan out well. There's nothing productive being done here. And it feels like it's just kind of not worth holding on to this. Okay. There could be this energy if someone is outgrowing someone as well. Like, you might be outgrowing this individual. Your relationship just might no longer, like, I don't know what this is. I really don't. Um, for some of you, this could be like a neighbor or something. Like, maybe you, you got along at first where you thought like, oh, this would be a good friend. And then, I don't know, some time passes and your true colors show. And then you realize you guys really aren't as compatible as you thought. Or there's things that you don't agree with or get along with or, I don't know. It's just like under, it's, there's a level of acceptance, especially with this death card, like this moon and the sun coming out. There's clearly something that needs to be revealed. There's something that needs to be brought to light. There's something that needs to be brought to your awareness and you need to accept it. And with this death card, again, it really might be that this situation's not going to change. This situation won't change. This person isn't going to change. The dynamics between you aren't going to change. The relationship ain't going to change. Nothing's going to... The, what needs to change in order for it to be what you're hoping for it to be isn't going to happen. So you're just going to have to let go and walk away. Or accept. Or detach. Or have stronger boundaries. Or put your energy elsewhere. That's what it feels like. So okay. Let's go ahead and clear that. If it needs to be continued, of course, we will continue to explore it. What else would you like the collective to know in regards to this energy or another? 
I saw that tower card almost pop out the deck and go right back in. And that was confirmed again with the Ten of Swords coming back out. And then this Five of Cups. I feel like if you keep on with this individual, you're going to get hurt. You're going to get your feelings hurt. You're getting your hopes up for something. Like, I don't know if you're, you got like a false sense of something. Like maybe you saw something and you thought maybe something was going to improve or maybe something was going to change or things were going to get better. And like, that's, I feel like that's false hope or something like it. The, the reality is not that. That just might have been wishful thinking, unfortunately, or hopeful thinking. Like, unfortunately, I just, in this dynamic, I don't see it being that way. I feel like the sooner you see it for what it is and accept it and detach and release, the sooner you can move on and the less painful this will be. I feel like someone just needs to go elsewhere or put their energy elsewhere. Put their efforts into someone or something else. We've got this Queen of Swords. Now, she came out right after this Prince of Swords kind of came out almost reverse, a little sideways. So maybe some things are being said. Maybe some things aren't being said. Maybe there's something that needs to be said. Maybe this is you. Maybe there's that's been that internal conflict. Maybe you want to speak your mind on something. Maybe you want to speak your truth on something. Maybe you want to say something to this individual. Point something out or clarify something or... You know, uh, clear the air on something. And maybe it's not some... It, this is something that's not easy to do. Like maybe um, it's not easy to approach this individual. Maybe you understand that when you do this, it is going to cause a change and ending to the situation. You may be kind of juggling back and forth. Is this the way? Is this not the way? Okay. So if this is the note we're leaving off, Spirit, how would we continue this message? Wow, High Priestess. That was, I mean, it like, you know, there's, don't, oh, yeah. Just listen to your intuition. Don't get into your head too much about it. Listen to your heart. Listen to your intuition and follow your heart on this and try to get out your head a little bit. There's nothing wrong with using your head. There's nothing wrong with, you know, Having that kind of mind, but you might be overthinking it with this Eight of Swords. I love how like smooth that all just came out. So yeah, there's there's something that just needs to be put to rest. Um, there may be some like disillusion due to overthinking, and there may be a need to just kind of tap out of that energy, tap back into your heart space, and listen to your intuition because I feel like ultimately you kind of know what your heart is telling you. You know what feels right. And maybe it's just like your mind is getting in the way. Because like it, it's our heart and our emotions or our intuition can like point us to one thing. But like logic or reasoning or mind can really freaking murk all that up or mess it up. Make the decision a little harder. Yeah, we've got this universe confirming this four swords. There is a cycle that needs to be closed out. This does need to be put to rest. So that way... Your energy can be settled. I feel like there's an unsettled energy. There's a restless or there's no closure or there's a loose end or it's just and you intuitively feel it. There's like, ah, I just this isn't a pleasant energy. And like, I don't I don't want to see someone like hold on to something longer than they need to and it hurt more at the end. And I, I feel like it, your heart and your intuition is telling you the truth. And even any way you think about it, any way you, you can overthink it as much as you want. But at the end of the day, like, how do you feel? And what's your gut telling you? What's your heart pulling at you? Like, your eyes and ears and mind can deceive you, but your heart won't. Not if it's of love. Now, if, you're, if your heart is thinking of fear, well, then that's an absence of heart chakra energy, which would be love. So... That's not quite the same thing, so don't get that part diluted. But, <clears throat> yeah, ultimately, I feel like you know what you need to do. 
there just may have been a bit of like a restlessness and a overthinking and a unsure and like a little bit of like a fear or an anxiety of like anticipating like how bad is this going to be is this going to blow up in my face are they like is this going to turn into a big fight uh, like i understand this person's so stubborn they're not going to hear me like I, I don't know what you've been running through your head but ultimately how how do you feel at the end of the day about it and is this is it worth your time and energy to continue to allow this to affect you in this way Any other messages for the collective? The Fool and the Five of Pentacles. It, it, look, I mean, so we painted the picture. We understood the variables. We understood some of the thoughts and feelings and emotions that are taking place. And the, the energy and the trajectory. Look at this. This Prince of Pentacles in the sun. That's where you're headed. If you just push through, listen to your intuition, follow your heart. It, and we saw that strength card. I don't know what you haven't been saying or need to say or need to do. or I'm sure it's going to require a little bit of strength. It might not be easy for you to do it, but you're going to feel better when you do. You're going to feel relief. And ultimately, at the end of this, the way I see it is we have the fool. We have the five of Pentacles. We have someone moving on. They're free, they're liberated, they have less weight on their back, and they're moving forward, and they got this new beginning. And someone else might be a little left out in the cold, or feeling left out of the situation, or just might not be a part of this fool's journey. And that's, you know, not everyone is going to be with every part of your journey throughout life. Some people are here for a season, some people are here for a lifetime. Maybe the season of this individual being in your life is coming to a pass, and you know that. And there may be a resistance to that, but your heart is really telling you you're being guided on this leap of faith or this new beginning or this fool's journey. Okay? So trust that. Trust that. And I know it might not be easy because you might have to say some things. I mean, there's a, there's a death. There is an ending. But you're headed towards the sun. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's um this action right here or this decision is actually probably one of the biggest things that's holding you back right now. For whoever this message is for, okay? Please understand these are general collective messages and I might be picking up on the energy of someone that has nothing to do with your path or story. So always take these as they resonate, if they resonate. And if they don't, you know, it just wasn't your message. But death. Uh, I'm really like, this is, this is the last of it. This is the last of the cycle too. Like, I, I feel like you've already kind of closed up a lot of loose ends. You may have already packed your bags in like a metaphorical or literal sense. Like, it, it just seems like this is that last thing. It's like, all right, this is, I hold on. Like, before we go, before we hop in the car and we travel across a large distance and go on this journey take this leap of faith and start our new life there's something i gotta do first i gotta wrap up this loose end i gotta i gotta close this cycle i gotta i gotta nail this coffin shut i have to speak my truth on this i can't sit on this anymore i can't stay silent on this anymore my intuition is telling me this might be emotional this might hurt i'm feeling tears right now so um it may be a, a lot behind this. I don't know what your story is. I don't know what the other individual story is. I don't know what's between you two. I don't know if this is family, friends, love, a boss, a, a neighbor, a dog. Like, I don't know. I really don't think it's a pet. But anyways, just pointing out that it, it could be anything. But I do feel that there are a lot of emotions to this. And there may be a purge after this. You may make this decision and it, you may cry afterwards. But this is a good cry. This is like you got to let it go because they just can't come with you. And it's you just can't put your energy into this anymore. And, you know, this may be something sad like you love them and you want what's best for them. And you've been trying to help them. You've been trying to heal them. And they just and you're depleting yourself. And it, it, they're not they're not improving. They're not growing. They're not healing. They're not making any changes. And, and it's just like they're they might even be hurting you like emotionally or mentally or this might be like consuming your life. And like I feel like something is draining you. And it's time to let it go. 
And it's okay to let it go. Like, you're not... What you're doing isn't wrong. I, I feel like someone is like, but it's selfish. Like, you might feel like it's selfish for you to do this. Like, I don't know if you feel like this person needs you or is like, what what the hold is, what the moral circumstance of this is. But you kind of have to put yourself, like, you do got to put yourself first in many ways. I mean, there's there's an energy for anything and everything in life. And sometimes in life, we really just got to put ourselves first. If it is causing you this much hold back in your life, then it's you got to let it go. It would be cr crazy. Like, it would it would be harmful to yourself. And you may have all the love and care for them in the world, but you got to have that you got to have love and care for yourself too. So you you got to I don't know what this is, but it, it's okay. It's okay to make this decision. If it's what's best for you and you're doing it for the right reasons and you've put a lot of time or thought and energy into this and your heart's telling you, your intuition's telling you, but there's just something that's kind of keeping you from making this decision. I don't know if it's guilt. I don't know if it's what what it is, but you gotta overcome it, and because uh, it's you gotta do what's best for you, because you're moving on and your life is changing. And I I feel like where you are, it's time for you to experience what you deserve. And I feel like for whatever reason, whatever this is, whoever this is, whatever you're struggling to part ways with. You don't deserve that anymore. Like, I'm not saying you ever did, but you sure as hell don't deserve it now. And where you're headed, it can't come with you. It just is what it is. And there's nothing wrong in this. So you can forgive yourself. Okay? You're not doing anything wrong. And, um, yeah, just, just know that you are loved. And this is okay. It's okay to love yourself. It's okay to let people go. All right. Is there anything else you would like the collective to know? Three of Swords. I know. I feel this. There's a lot of hurt in this. Like I just, I feel it. It hurts. It really fucking hurts. But you've got this Nine of Wands, and like again, you've got to stand up for yourself. You have to have strong boundaries. You've got to have enough love, enough sense of self. You've got to preserve yourself. How long can you go on like this? How long can this continue? How long can you maintain this? Are you even continuing to maintain this? Or is this already really starting to weigh on you and wear on you and take you down with them or with it or hold you back? So listen to your heart. Listen to your intuition. Um, do what is out of love for yourself. And that is okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this reading here. If you like the way that I read, please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. I greatly appreciate every single one of you, and I will see you on the next collective message.